वन पी एम पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय अब्दुल राफे सुहेल फर्स्ट द हेडलाइंस Foreign Minister is in Moscow to hold bilateral talks with Russian leadership on entire spectrum of mutual cooperation in diverse fields. Pakistan has stressed the need to promote peace and stability among Islamic countries for mutual benefit and economic growth. Chairman Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee and Assistant Minister of Defence of Saudi Arabia at a meeting in Riyadh have discussed bilateral cooperation in military and defence fields. and nato chief has asked south korea to step up military support for ukraine and now the news in detail foreign minister bilawal bhutto zardari is in moscow to hold talks with russian leaders on the entire spectrum of bilateral relations on his arrival at moscow airport the foreign minister was received by senior officials of the russian foreign ministry pakistan's ambassador to russia shafkat ali khan and officials of the embassy the foreign minister is on a two day visit to the russian federation at the invitation of his russian counterpart sergey lavrov the two foreign ministers are scheduled to meet today for official talks Minister of Planning and Development Hasan Iqbal has said the present government is making all efforts to control depreciation of rupee as well as price hikes of petroleum products gas and electricity addressing a gathering of PMLN workers at Changowali village Shakargarh he said the recent price increase in petroleum products is a result of the agreement made by PTI chairman Imran Khan with the International Monetary Fund he said former PTI government signed an agreement with the IMF on difficult terms and the current government is bound to fulfill these conditions Deputy Speaker National Assembly Zahid Akram Durrani has emphasized to find mutually beneficial solutions to promote peace stability and economic growth amongst Islamic countries he said this during his sideline meetings with parliamentary delegations from Qatar Malaysia and Burkina Faso while leading a parliamentary delegation to 17th session of parliamentary union of the Islamic countries in Algiers Deputy Speaker also emphasized that the bilateral meetings are a testament to Pakistan's continuous efforts to strengthen its relationship with other countries of the region Minister for Information and Broadcasting Maryam Aurangzeb has released the schedule of countrywide organizational visits of PMLN's senior vice president and chief organizer Maryam Nawaz. Maryam Nawaz will address the workers convention in Bahawalpur on February 1st and the next day the organizational meeting of the party will be held in the city. In Multan the convention will be held on 5th February and the organizational meeting on 6th February. On 9th February Maryam Nawaz will address a convention in Abbottabad which will be followed by the party's organizational meeting on 10th February Minister for Overseas Pakistani Sajid Hussain Thuri has said progress of any region and country is not possible without peace and harmony addressing a seminar in Kurram he urged the tribal elders elected representatives political and social workers to play their role for promotion of peace and harmony Sajid Thuri said negotiations are ongoing with various countries to create more and maximum employment opportunities for more Pakistani youth and skilled workers abroad Chairman Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee General Sahir Shamshad Mirza called on Assistant Minister of Defence of Saudi Arabia Talal Al Utaibi in Riyadh both discussed aspects of bilateral cooperation between the brotherly countries in military and defence fields Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has expressed deep grief and sorrow over the death of children in Kohat's Tanda Dam. In a statement today, he expressed his condolences to the bereaved families. The Prime Minister directed the authorities concerned to provide all possible medical facilities to children being treated in the hospitals. Secretary General of NATO Jens Stoltenberg has urged South Korea to step up military support for Ukraine. He said this during his visit in South Korean capital Seoul. NATO chief said it is unclear when the conflict in Ukraine would end. He said Russia is preparing for more war and actively acquiring weapons from countries including North Korea. Four people were killed while five others were wounded in Russian air raids on Ukraine's northeastern city of Kharkiv and southern city of Kherson today 
And that is all for now. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio pakistan news official.